Um, Ryan's roses. Let me just tell you the story. So, so Ryan and Ellen, the other day, decided to stop at my husband's office to see if he wanted to go to lunch. Turns yeah. out he was already at lunch, uh -huh. but there were flowers on his desk. <gasps> Come on. Who are they from? Let me read on. Okay. I checked the card. It said, to Kyle with love from your wife. But what? She is his wife. I did not send him flowers, she says. She goes on to say, I asked him about it. He seemed as confused as I was. He acted like the flower shop must have made a mistake with the card. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, come on. Really? Was I born yesterday? She no. No, she says. Uh, anyway, but I, 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 let's just get Ashley. Hang on. Ashley, I'm guessing. I'm guessing Ashley's on line one. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Thank you. Ashley. Hi. Well, what a interesting trap that you found, huh? I mean, you found <sighs> fly. So, by the way, I love the idea, I, and I, w I would do this. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Surprise your spouse. Oh yeah. Walk in on him at the office, uh -huh. at lunch, Random. at at a dinner. Yeah. You just check on him. Yeah. I know it's about trust, but doesn't hurt. Just yeah. Check on him. <laughs> so, so he's he's like gets flowers sent to the desk. They say. Uh, it's flowers to Kyle. Love your wife. You are his wife. You did not send the flowers. He then says the flower company made a mistake with the card. Come on. That's crazy. I don't buy it. He, what if yeah. he has two wives? I hope not. I, I hope yeah, not. But too. what if I he mean, does? I think that would be incredibly hard to pull off. I'm saying. Yeah, that would be. You call you him would, every night. Yeah, you probably know that, right? I would hope so, but right. I have something going on. Um, how long have you been married? A year and a half. How many kids? No kids yet. Hang on one sec. Okay. Patty! <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, she made it. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to, what we're going to do, Patty's going to call him from the flower shop, offer him some roses, see what he puts in the card. We want to see exactly who he makes the card out to, and then what his message is, Okay. Okay. All right, good luck. Oh. Thank you. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Kyle? You can who is this? Hi, Kyle. My name's Patty, and I'm calling from flowersandkisses.com. How are you? You're calling from... Flowersandkisses.com. I'm calling because uh, you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses or completely free and no charge. Yeah, 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 I think you've got the wrong number. I don't, Kyle. I'm, I'm actually calling you. You've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses. You may have something online a few weeks ago and opted to receive a promotion or, uh, or free coupons. And we're following up on that. So I'm here offering you a free bouquet that you can send to whoever you want today at no charge. Plus, I said free delivery. I'm not asking you oh. for your credit card number or your billing address. Just right, the name so because of because I bought something online, so they stole my info. So now you guys have my cell phone and are trying to get more info out of me. Is that what this is about? No, we don't. No, but we don't buy customers' information. What happens is you opt in to choose to receive promotions or coupons from third parties, and that information is given to us after you opt to receive that information. Oh, so there's some fine print that I'm just missing when I make uh, some, like, Amazon purchases or something, huh? Because I mean, I wouldn't know where you purchased anything. That information is not given to us. I do know that you opted in for something like this, and I'm just calling you to offer you the uh, the promotion. I think it's a great promotion. You can send the flowers to whoever you want. Red roses are very beautiful, and, you know, you can make somebody happy today. Okay, so, uh, what do you want first? Do you want the address? Do you want the, let's start with the name of the person so I could get this going. <laughs> All right, and this is uh, a dozen red roses. A dozen red roses, correct. All right. You're uh, going to really like them. She's selling it. What happened? I promise, and you're not going to go with any other flower shop after this, but mine. Yeah, sure. I got to go with the flower shop. They've got my info somewhere. But yeah, let's see if you're legit. Uh, flowers and kisses. All right. Uh, got pen, paper, computer. I'm not sure. I'm ready, for your, I'm ready for the information. Oh, well, let's send these to... Um, um, to Jessica, that is J E S S I C A. Okay. To Jessica. Got it. And then uh, have it read with love from your husband. <gasps> and is this going what? to. Uh, 
Hello? Kyle, I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I have Ashley on the phone. She claims to be your wife. Is that true? Yeah, to say I am your wife. Is that the case? Whoa, 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 whoa. Honey? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, your wife? Is that the case? Not sending you flowers or receiving flowers and is not named Jessica? Uh, oh. Easy, Tiger. Yeah. Uh, easy. Hold, hold on now. Kyle, are you married to Ashley? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, hold on a second. Am I? Uh, are you married all, to Ashley? First of all, yes, Ashley is my wife. Okay, okay so wait, 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 wait. You just sent flowers to your wife named Jessica. Jessica. What? Kyle? If you were listening to the whole thing, I get a call from some telemarketer basically on my cell phone trying to get me, I don't know, get over information. It sounds, doesn't even sound legit. Of course I'm not going to waste, you know, my time or money on something for us. I sent them to a co-worker named Jessica, who yes, I work with. I said I was sending to a business and yes, it said with love from your husband. I didn't use my name. It's a game we play at work. Have you never had a game at work where you huh? play with someone? Uh, like, you know what uh, uh, bro, that bro, is. bro, 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 don't, hey, bro, don't insult the entire city. You're kidding me. And by the way, if you are playing that game, yeah. you shouldn't be. You're not okay. going to reach money to For what re pay to your, no, no, your real wife no, 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 send it to your fake wife. So are you married to two women? No, I'm only married to the one. All right, then are you sleeping with the other one at work? Oh, my God, this is unbelievable. Tell me. No, I'm yes not sleeping no. with the other woman at work. Are you attracted to her? So you're flirting with her. Oh, my. Have you guys never worked? Who gets work in an office? It's, what, what constitutes this flirting? Instead of sending flowers to your wife, Ashley, you sent flowers to your coworker, Jessica, Jessica. and said from your husband. What in the heck do you think your wife is supposed to think? And to think that you're going to turn the tables on us and make us feel like we don't know what we're talking about? Come on! Dude, I don't even think that the freaking phone call for flowers is legit anyway. Oh, I have a small business where I give away flowers. Let me tell you yeah, like I'm going to chance my whole address with that. Get Let out of here. Let me tell you something, Kyle. You're condescending. Oh, wow, yeah. You're condescending. You think that your wife isn't smart enough yep. to figure you, you out. You're not you're not being respectful to her. You're flirting with the woman. You might be just sleeping with her in the office. And you're married to Ashley. Not, not for much longer. Well, I, 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 mean, I agree with you. you I agree with you. And, it's, and if you think that we're going to buy your story, you kidding me? Yeah. The big husband-wife joke. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Kyle, if, if your wife Ashley was playing husband-wife with someone at work and did all you this stuff... You don't do that anyway! Right. How, how would you feel? Uh, you know what? I know nothing's going on, so I don't feel that at all. Oh, like, well, Kyle, you are buttoned up. All right, yeah, you want to know what, honey? You know the password on my phone. You can you can check my check messages when I get home. You want to go through my oh, email. You so want to check the credit card statement. You go nuts. All right, Kyle, I, I got something that happens when I talk to people like you. I hang up on you. Uh, <laughs> now, Ashley, he, why, he sounds like such an indecent person. Why in the world? What are you attracted to? I don't know. He didn't always treat me like this. Yeah, but he's, tr he's, just, a, like, he's just a disrespectful guy. You, I know. you, you got to make a I... choice. Listen, I, I, he's, to me, I don't know. Yeah. He, he's a little verbally abusive, by the way. Yes. And to me... You need I would get to this Jessica I find out what's going on but you need to be clever here because he's trying to play you as a fool and it's just not the case he didn't send you the flowers. He sent them to play some joke like their husband wife role playing come on I'm spitting all over the microphone but come on Yeah but it's gross I mean, not that you spit, this. <laughs> I mean, like, what's the point of being married? Well, you have to decide that cuz that's complicated but what you got I do not like his tone i do not like his disrespect for you i don't think you deserve it so you got to decide the upside the downside on your own and good luck and thank you for calling thanks guys oh good luck <sighs> it's always so hard to listen to these um there is an update and it's on the next video